Today, we're going to learn how to access the Faxcom desktop client, add the icon to your desktop, and lastly, the process of sending a fax. To access the Faxcom desktop client, it must be installed on your computer. The installation process is explained on our website. You can visit our website by going to it.wustl.edu and then selecting the How To tab at the top. On the next page, select Digital Faxing with Faxcom, which is located in the right navigation menu. All of the information you need will be on the next page. Once the desktop client is installed, go to the Start menu in the lower left corner and then select All Apps. If you're on a computer with Windows 7, select All Programs. Scroll through and then select the Faxcom folder. The Faxcom client icon will appear below the folder. You can click the icon here, or if you'd like to add the desktop client to your desktop for easy access in the future, click and drag it to your desktop. Click the Faxcom client to launch the application. Now we're going to go through the process of composing a fax. First, we'll select the Send Fax icon on the top toolbar. The Send Fax window will appear. Now we're ready to complete the Send Fax sections. The first section we'll go over is the Send To section. All that is required is a name and fax number, but you can enter more information if you'd like. This will be a frequent contact, so let's add it to our private phone book by clicking Add to PB. On the pop-up window, add any additional information and then click OK. If you need to add additional recipients, click the button with the right arrow and asterisk. Let's select a contact from our personal phone book by clicking Private PB. Select the contact from the private list, click Add, and the contact will appear in the recipients list on the right. Click OK when you're finished. Next is the Sent From section. You only have to enter your name and fax number. If you want to add additional information such as your phone number and email address, click the button with the double right arrows to open the Sender Information pop-up window. Enter your information and then click OK. Let's move on to the Cover Page section. You don't have to do anything in this section. The system will automatically generate a cover page, but if you'd like to add a subject and memo, you can do that here. Click the Memo button to open a pop-up window where you can type in your memo. Click OK when you're finished. Now for the Attachment section. To add an attachment, click Browse, choose your file on the pop-up window, and then select Open. Our file has been added as an attachment. Next is the Schedule section. You don't have to do anything in this section unless you would like to schedule the delivery or change the priority. If you click Delay Until, you can input the date and time you'd like the fax delivered. Use the drop-down to change the priority from normal to high or low. Lastly is the folder section. Don't do anything here. We're now ready to send the fax. You just click Send and that's it. Visit our website if you have additional questions or check out our next video on the additional features of the desktop client.